Welcome to Flash CS6 tutorial number one, card trick. This is a beginner's tutorial, meaning I will be explaining a lot of things. I'm starting a new FLA, it's called a new document. Selecting action script three, and I'm going to make my width of my stage 600 and the height 500. Okay. This is layer one, select that right here, this frame. Come over to this, what's called the, the drawing tools and pick up the rectangle tool. In the corner here, I can make it an oval, but I want a rectangle. This is called the stroke, it's the outside of the rectangle. This is called the fill, it's inside of the rectangle. So I have the rectangle tool selected and I'm gonna draw a rectangle. Pick up the selection tool right here Click here, open the properties panel. If you don't have it already somewhere, click window and there it is there. Click on property panel and the property panel will open like that for you. I keep my property panel here so I can open it. And when I highlight this, pick up my selection tool and highlight this and open my property panel, I can see that it is a uh, 52 wide and 73 height. Well, I want to make it 50 by 75. And hit enter. There it is. And I want this thing here, the stroke, which is the black, to be uh, two pixels. And what else? Oh, I'm happy with that. So I'll close my property panel. And there's my start of my first card. I'm going to click on that center. See how I click off, click on that center. Open the palette up. Something called the palette. Nope. Open this palette up. And if you look here, if you don't, if you look here, it says solid color. I want something called uh, radial gradient. Click that. Now you see what I did here, you see how it makes that? I'll, I'm gonna click on this little house here and click red. And that gives me, I'll click on this house here and I'm gonna pick something closer to there so I have a little bit of orange. And if I move the house here, watch what happens there, see that? If I move it there, so I want it mostly red with just a hint of, of um, white around the edges going to close that. The third thing down here, if I look on the corner and click that, I want gradient tool. And I get this funny looking thing. I'm just going to get the get that here and turn it like that and get on that horn and push that horn up in the corner and you see what I get. I get a, a crazy effect. Okay. That's going to be whatever you want to play around with. So that's my my playing cards. Now you can draw something in here if you want, but that's what I'm going to to work with. I'm going to now highlight it, pick up my selection tool, highlight it, modify it, convert it to a symbol, make sure graphic is selected, and call it card, C-A-R-D underscore G-R-P as in graphic. And this registration thing here, put that in the middle right there. Okay, so come down here, double click, call this layer deck, D-E-C-K, and oh, D-E-C-K, come up here, get what I call those cross here's, right click, copy that, lock that layer, right here, see that lock, click right here, lock that layer, insert a layer, Click on this, call it DEC1 as in deck card one. Come up here, right click, paste in, make sure this one's locked. Select this first frame right here. Come up here, right click, paste in place. And it's paste a card right on top of that card for me. So now drag that card here, roughly there, okay? 
while that is still highlighted, see I got those crosshairs, right click, copy this one, lock this layer right here, make sure the blue at top layer is selected, come down here, insert layer, call this deck two, the EC2. Come up here, select that frame, right click, paste in place, that put that right on top. Now hold your, click on your right arrow key and you can do that or hit your shift and hold it down and it moves further, like that. Lock that layer, come down here, insert a layer, call this deck, D-E-C, three. Again, this is a beginner's tor tutorial. Right click, paste in pa place, hold the shift down, hit the arrow key, because it jumps in more increments. And using your arrow key, try to keep the space between them again properly. Lock that one, insert another one. You got it, deck four. Unlock it, it is unlocked. Select this first frame, right click, paste in place and hold my shift down and using my right arrow key there. So now come up here to this deck one again, deck one. I think I still have a copy, but right click copy it again. I'm certain I do, but lock it, go up to the top one, insert a layer, call it DEC, Five, deck five. Make sure you select that first frame, right click, paste in place. This time using the shift down and the down, down arrow key. Get this one here, select frame one. Pick up the, copy that. See, I had something something there I didn't like, so I went over here, pick up my selection tool, get those crosshairs, right click, copy it, lock deck five, insert a layer, deck six, and you're going to do the remainder of them, and uh, there's going to be four, 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 four rolls of four. When I get those done, I'll get back to you. Now I'm just putting in my last one here. And what I'm going to do is lock all my layers and there's an eyeball. I'm going to click that eyeball and one at a time I'm going to show you my cards. There's the deck. There's the first one, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Bring this up. 15, 16 cards. Now, this is the timeline, and this is where events take place. So let's go up to frame 80. Make sure you're up to deck the card 16. In one stroke, regular click, left click, drag it all the way down to the bottom. Make sure you have all these selected get on it, right click, and insert keyframes. And what that does, it, that fills all these frames with that picture that you see up here on the stage. Again, push this all the way up, bring this all the way over so I see frame one. Go up to about frame 10 Again, in one motion, come all the way down and take them all except the last one. So we're just taking the deck one to deck 16. Get that fuzzy square, right click, insert keyframe. Now in one motion, click here and drag it all the way to the top. Make sure you don't, you don't take that bottom frame get that fuzzy square, right click, clear these frames so there's nothing in them. 
The only thing that's in them is this deck. So now if we tested it, we're going to see the deck by itself. Then we're going to see all these cards, and that's just going to repeat itself. So let's just see that that works. It repeats itself. They're going to disappear in a bit. They're going to disappear in a bit. That's good. So now what we want to do is have those cards come out one at a time. Okay, make sure you're at deck 16. Go up to about 33 or so right here. Right click, insert a keyframe. Come down the next one, go up a couple frames. Right click, insert a keyframe. Go up a couple frames, insert a keyframe. Insert a keyframe. Insert keyframe. And do all them down to deck layer six, deck layer one. Now I have all them keyframes in place, as you can see. And now we're going to put some motion here eventually. Unlock deck 16. That's this lower one down here. I believe deck 16 is at lower one. I'm just going to make sure. Yeah, see, I just turned it off here with the eyeball. Okay. And go up to about frame 12. Insert a keyframe there. Now, take this card and just slide it up close as you can to being on top of that. And you can use your arrow keys to put it almost exactly there. Right click anywhere in here. Anywhere in here. Right click. Create a classic tween. And you should see like a bluish purple background with an arrow. And what that's going to do is that's going to do that for us. See that? Lock that one. Unlock deck 15. Come in a couple frames here. Insert a keyframe, select that frame, this one, drag it up, and you got to put it right on the deck. Not on this one, on this one here. And again, you can use your arrow keys to get it a bit closer, and right click, create a classic tween. I'll do one more with you. And then I'll check it out. Insert a keyframe. Lock that. Unlock 14. This should be 14. Drag it up. Put it right on the deck. Use your arrow keys. And create classic tween. I'm just going to test that out. Control, test movie, test. And there they are. One, two, three. Good. I will do the rest of them down to deck one and I will get back to you. Now you can see this is getting a bit tight. For example, I'm doing number eight now. I'm unlocking eight and I'm inserting my, my keyframe and it's this one I want to move and that's getting a bit tight to, to see. So what you can do is come over here where this eyeball is and click this, these and they'll hide those cards that we don't need to see right now. So it's going to be easier for me to put this one in its, in its place. And I'm going to do these two also. I'm going to do the last couple with you. Um, I want to hide the ones that are in limbo, so to speak. I'm unlocking deck two. I'm inserting the keyframe. I'm selecting this deck tool, putting it as close as I can with my selection tool, then using my arrow keys, create a classic tween, lock it, hide it so it doesn't get in my way, unlock deck one, insert a keyframe, moving it over into the deck, using my arrow keys, and making this a classic tween. Now, unlock the layers. 
excuse me, make the layers visible. Make sure all the layers are locked. Select the top layer, this deck 16, insert a layer. Call it AS as an action script. Select this frame 80, right click, insert a blank keyframe. Now, open up your actions panel. My actions panel is here. Yours will be up here under window and somewhere you'll see actions. Click on it and when it opens up, it'll be up here somewhere like this. Click on this part up here and drag it so that it's on this line and now it's down here anytime you want it. And we want to put a STOP, open close bracket, semicolon. Go back to the timeline. So now let's test this out and see what we have. The cards are being... Okay, something's not quite right. Something is not right. Oh, of course it's not. We have to clear these... We have to clear these frames here because I don't want the cards to be there yet. Not until here. I don't want to see these cards here, so click. Be very careful. I'm on deck one. In one motion, click here. Go to there. Right click. Clear frames. Get on this one. All in one motion. I don't want that second one. Right click. Clear frames. Click here. All in one motion. Clear frames. clear frames. You know you're doing it right when this all becomes one solid line and this here keyframe is missing. Oops. Clear frames. Clear frames. Clear frame. It's just as easy to do this instead of turning it off. Clear frames. Clear frames. We're almost finished for this tutorial. Clear frames. Clear frames. Clear frames. Clear frames. And we got a couple more to do here. Clear frames. Clear frames. Clear frames. Now, when we test it, Control, test, movie, test. One card, it distributes them, and it stops. I think that's enough for this tutorial. There's going to be a follow-up. It'll be Flash CS6 Tutorial 2, Card Trick Part 2. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.